I'm Simon Harrison, Head Professional, Lilybrook Golf Club in Cheltenham. Another drill I'm going to use for the indoor teaching sessions is to help you increase your shoulder turn. Uh, there are many drills I've used in the past to show shoulder turn, but here's another example. In order to maximise your distance, you obviously need to try and stretch your muscles as much as you can to generate turn and coil. So most people tend to have this a swing where they, they get to a point through the backswing, give up on it, and then the arms become independent. So how do you know how much shoulder turn you've done? Well, you've probably all at some point seen the drill where you put a club in your shoulders. Just visually, it's easier if I use another shaft, so I'm gonna grab a shaft. But cross your arms and push the club right up against the tops of your arms. Now what you're gonna do is take your posture and you're gonna try and turn the left end of the club to the right hand, this is the front end, to the inside of the back foot. You can probably tell by my voice, that's straining a bit. That means I'm coiling up. If you just turned without coil, there's absolutely no strain on the body at all, so there's no power built up. So try and hold your lower half as still as you can whilst you wind the top half to create coil, and then you let that coil go. So the right end now has gone all the way over to the left foot. What you don't want to do is get the left end pointing to where the ball would be by just simply leaning down towards the ball, so I'm tilting, because what you can probably see by my legs is it now means my knees get active. And also what you don't want to do is come out of your posture to make the turn. You want to stay in your posture the whole time. So you turn around the posture, turn around the posture. Try it. Give that one a go.